option because she had no choice. She's going to be throwing up all over the place. But at the end of the day, it, it became depressing for her because it's like, wow, this is what I did. Now I can't really enjoy none of the stuff that I like to the point where it's making me nauseous. And she said uh, something about um, what you say. Yeah, uh, you don't understand how your stomach when you full. She said she get blurry vision and what blurry else? Blurry vision, headaches. It's like you just got to sit out. Like it seemed like the world just spinning. You just got to take a moment and just make yourself breathe. You got to relax yourself. Because that clip is of a portion of this video. So I admonish you to please watch it to the end. Early. And I'm getting ready to go hit the gym. Might as well go now. It's just me by myself today. So I'm going to go try to go now and uh, get it out of the way. All right, y'all, let's go. I'm so tired. That's why I'm not talking, y'all. Huh? Kind of in the middle, but more darker to me. I say, yeah, I said a darker one. All right, y'all. So I've been in here laying down, hoping that I can lay down for about 45 minutes or so and feel better. I'm making my eyes. And I was getting ready to try to weigh in for my seven, seven days. Just a FYI, every morning that I get up, I weigh in for the previous day to give the results of that day. This is actually Thursday, the eighth day of my fast, Thursday morning. I feel nauseous and I don't feel like I need to drive and go by myself. Oh my gosh, uh, I haven't felt this way. I need to lay down. I don't think I'm going to do the gym once again. I'm not eating. I'm trying to still. I'm sticking to. Well, my goal is still. Oh my god. Oh my god. To stick to not eating. It is. Oh. Oh, 2:29 a.m. I was trying to leave early. Oh gosh, y'all. I feel sick. Maybe this is a detox coming up on me now. And they said, if you feel this way, don't overexalt yourself because I won't be able to finish the fast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so nauseous. Oh. But I gotta share this with y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was about to try to wait for the morning. Oh. Before I go. I gotta, lay, I gotta lay back down. I feel too sick. Ooh, oh my God. I'll be back. I'll be back by y'all. So this was actually the morning of um, Thursday, the 23rd. And uh, I caught myself laying back down and seeing if I can get back up at about three something because that's when I normally go. I woke up at two something. I said, what the heck is just going to be me by myself? Um, because Wednesday, I didn't feel right like going to the gym I felt disgusting and then Thursday my mom felt disgusting so I was gonna go alone and that just did not happen so I decided to take myself to sleep and um the bed made me feel so much better when I was laying down so I know for sure I was going through a detoxing effect but yeah it was crucial y'all it was actually crucial but sleeping was the only thing that made me feel good I'm 
So y'all, if you have back pain, any type of back pain, you know how it is when you have to sneeze just in life. When you have to sneeze, period, it hurts so bad. Even if that pain isn't bothering you at that moment, it seems like that sneeze always pinpoints that one area and makes it hurt every time you sneeze. I've been sneezing, right? And I'm like, wait, because I'm usually I usually tense up when I sneeze because the pain from it hitting that area in my back is like ridiculous. So I've been sneezing. I'm like, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's gone. It's the worst pain. It's like somebody punched me right in that area real hard every time I sneeze. Like boom, and I'm like, oh, every time I sneeze, oh, it's gone sitting here and I'm um, thinking about life and how um, sometimes people can uh, feel so down on their self about losing weight and feel a certain type of way and the thought came to my mind about integrity we must have integrity um, and not with other people with the most important person on this journey the most important person that controls everything with ourself um it's like a person who says i'm a christian right but they're doing things behind closed doors that no one knows about at the end of the day the god that you serve still sees that right and can be very disappointed in you and your decisions but it's the same thing with weight loss i can get on this camera and i can say whatever 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 this journey is about me this journey is for me first and then for my family you know and uh because i want to feel better be better and do better with my family that's why it was more of a push because i wanted i wanted it first so i must have integrity um can my camera be on 24 7 to show you every bit of my day those videos would be ridiculously long no one ever be able to watch them so with that being said, when you're on this journey, if you decide to go on this journey, no one is going to beat you up if you eat something you shouldn't. No one is going to get on you if you do something that you shouldn't. So the only person that's going to be mad, sad, and upset is you at yourself because you failed or you let in or you gave in. I mean, you gave in to whatever temptation it was. It is a sacrifice now, guys, a sacrifice now for better rewards later. I was talking to my husband, I think my sister and some other, some somebody else I talked to about this. I said, if a person decides to go get a procedure done, well, with most of the procedures sometimes, um, you have to show the doctor that you seriously want it by losing some weight before he even gives you the surgery. And my brain, the way CPR brains work, brain works, it's like, mm -mm. if I have to lose weight just to get it, then that means I'm capable of doing it. So why would I do it? That's my thinking. Because I'm like, okay, I lose a little bit of weight just to get the surgery, just to right now have a temporary gain of feeling good about it, but then later I'm restricted when I go on vacations and enjoy life and want to, and, you know, just have fun and eat. And sometimes you might want to indulge in things, you know what I mean? On vacation and special days and special um, events and stuff. So I feel like right now I'm sacrificing. I'm sacrificing. I'm going hard. I'm pushing through it. No, my weight is not going to fall off. Well, actually, it actually could with this water fast and fall off just as fast as someone doing the surgery. But it may not fall off as fast like when I get to the point where I got to that certain number I want to get to and I decide to go figure out what way I want to eat daily. Um, it may not fall off as fast, but I can sacrifice that right now because once I get there, all my hard work and everything is paid off and I have channeled in a part of my brain that most of us can't channel in. And it's willpower. Willpower is so serious. And I feel like if I can channel my willpower for this situation, 
there's a lot of things that I can conquer in my life. So this is not just about weight loss. It's more so about can I promise myself to do something and stick with it no matter who's cheering me on no matter who feel I should do it no matter who's um on my side rooting for me whatever the case may be the same as cheering on but you know what I mean can I stick to it for me for me if I had no family and I was a single person I was in this home doing it by myself no children no nothing can I do this on my own without Outside of me having a reason why being my children and my family and wanting to be healthy and be there for them. Can I? You have to channel your inner self, your inner real power and all that you have in you to say enough is enough. There are people losing 200, 300 pounds, some more than that. So why can't I? Try to get these 92 pounds off or whatever it is, 75 for my ideal goal is I think 215, between 2, 215, 230. Um, why can I get off my butt and try to lose the weight to get me where I need to be? Do I truly love myself or am I dealing with something? And I have been dealing with something. I have been dealing with beating myself up, mad that I got this way, knowing that I know better but not doing better. But guys, we have to channel it if you want it. There's nothing no one else can say. We can make all excuses in the world. At the end of the day, it's something you have to want. And every day is going to pass no matter if you do something or not. So why not let the days pass where you can look back and be like, wow, I did that. Versus, dang, summer's here and I still ain't did nothing. Not a damn thing. I'm still overweight. Still feel uh sick feel i mean um achy and 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 sad and uncomfortable and don't want to go shopping and like move do something about it you are the one to do something about it not your kids not your husband not your mama your daddy no siblings you are the one that has to make up in your mind i want this and i'm going to do it i want this and i'm going to do it I'm only telling you what I know because I had to be the one. I could talk to my husband about it, my kids about it. Mama gonna do this, mama gonna do that. Babe, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I wanted to, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna next Monday, next Monday, next month, next month, next month, next month, next year. Like, come on now. Right now is the time. Get it done. Get it done. Time is not promised and don't live your life in regret or feeling like you should have done something else because you, you just don't want to. That's, that's, that's just what it is. You just don't want to. All right, y'all. This is a date. I'm not going to the gym, so I got more time to basically speak to y'all. But I'm going to be resting like crazy. And we shall see how the weight loss goes. But, oh, excuse me. All right, y'all. <sighs> you know that with your feet, y'all know I'm anal about my feet um, and keeping a scrubby thing in there and the heavier i've gotten i definitely need to keep it in there why because the heavier you are the more skin forms on the bottom of your feet as a protection if you didn't notice you can research this for yourself um the heavier that you are overweight the more overweight and um obese that you get the more skin forms on the bottom of your feet now with that being said, it is a protection because if a little kid walks over a nail or a tack, they might catch it and, you know, jump back before. But you may not feel it until it already had puncture. You get what I'm saying? Because of all the extra skin. And all the extra skin is a protection from puncturing not being so easy so your skin won't stay so soft on the bottom of your feet i've noticed through losing the weight that i've lost that usually when i um get in the tub i usually try to do my feet every couple days and i kind of slacked off i haven't done it since i did that pedicure around that time and it still feels soft like it still feels really soft and normally i would have done it about once or twice since then 
um, to keep it soft. And that was my way of keeping up on the excess skin. So if you're a heavy woman and you wonder why your feet build skin, that is a natural protection of the body. Um, so that like if you step on glass or step on something, um, maybe the little poke just is enough for you to jump back versus your skin being soft and, and, and stepping on it and going straight through it. So just wanted to throw that out there. All right, y'all. I'm still relaxing. FYI, the whole time I've been fasting, I've only used eight packs of these. Only eight packs. And this is 36 ounces of water, so I don't use much at all. And I'm only going to use like a third of this. Guys, so I am braiding my clients hair. Um, no more relaxing, I'm up braiding. Um, because it was better for her to come today than Saturday. And guess what? Your girl sitting in a chair. Yes, I am. I'm sitting in a chair because I felt like if I stand up too long, it's not going to be a good thing. I'm telling my client that she needs to start a channel because I think that she would be awesome at giving the real deal on what is it called? VSG mm -hmm. at VSG uh, talking about the gastric and the things that she's been through and went through that I had no clue about. And we just was having real woman chat and she was telling me all the stuff that she's been through and how if she can go back and do it all over again, she would not do it or recommend it to anyone. She would recommend you channel your willpower and get it done. Right? Yes. <laughs> and just the restrictions and the things that she feel when she eats stuff. Say what you said about um the cravings or whatever you were saying, something about people think what they say. They feel like when you have the surgery that you don't crave sweets. They think you take a sweet box of whatever they think that is away from you that you don't want sweets, you don't want candy, you don't want ice cream, you don't want cupcakes. It's a lie. You want it all. <laughs> so basically, a lot of people get it thinking that this stuff is going to go away. And she was saying, like, one time she was eating a little cupcake and a co-worker was looking at her like, you're going to eat that? And she like, yeah. And the lady was like, didn't it, wasn't it supposed to take your sweet cravings away? What you said to her? Uh, no, it did not. And I'm going to eat this cupcake and enjoy it. And you was like, where is the sweet craving located? Right. How are they going to take it away? Where do they, get it? yeah, how do you take your sweet craving away? Yeah. Where does it go? Where? What part of my body do they get it from? thought maybe you had surgery on your tongue and they take your taste buds. Right. Um, she was telling me about um, just the heaviness and how just in her home, how she feels like um, her trying to eat and enjoy foods is stressful because it's a stuff that she still like but can't have it. It's restricting her to the point where she always feel like when she's having dinner, she's going to up chuck. And she's not even eating a lot. Literally, she said the little party wings, what you say, two? Two. Two. And that's pushing it. Push. She might be able to get two in. She said she'll not eat all day and say, I'm getting my fried chicken. I'm going to eat my little four. She put four in the plate. <laughs> and she said she psyched herself up. But she knows her restriction because she had no choice. She's going to be throwing up all over the place. But at the end of the day, it, it became depressing for her because... It's like, wow, this is what I did. Now I can't really enjoy none of the stuff that I like to the point where it's making me nauseous. Mm -hmm. And she said uh, something about um, what you say. Your, uh, you don't understand how your stomach when you full. She said she get blurry vision and what blurry else? Blurry vision, headaches. Just like you just got to sit down. Like it seemed like the world just spinning. You just got to take a moment and just. Make yourself breathe. You got to relax yourself because I don't, it just makes you feel so bad. <laughs> right. I told her I think that she should start a channel because so many people get in like, oh, it's the, the best decision I ever made in my life. If I can do it over again, I'll do it again. And I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all all can't be happy about right. this. <laughs> this all cannot just be a lovely thing. Not a um, dream come true. And like she said, not a dream come true. <laughs> and what do you say? You said you thought that the weight um, was going to do different. What did you feel about the surgery? What did you say to me when you first came in? You was like, it's not what I thought it was going to do right. or something. I felt like, I don't know. I felt like I was going to go to sleep and maybe a week or two later, I was going to be where I wanted to be. I didn't know that it took so much work, so much dedication, sweat, tears. Which you felt like marriage. I could have did it. My, she right. said almost her marriage. Yes. 
and not on nobody's behalf, like her husband or kids or nothing, but on her behalf of right. all the mental and emotional things she went through because she was looking forward and excited about one thing happening, which was that weight dropping and, and, and getting her at a certain point. Um, so it's been really frustrating for her. But, yeah, I'm just sitting here because I just talked to y'all about this, about the reason why I'm going so hard is because it's like if I don't go hard, I will have to do something like that because my health will be at stake. You get what I'm saying? And they're like, oh, you won't be living this long if you don't do this or you're going to be this, this, that, and the third with all these different ailments. So why not go hard? Some people may think it's extreme, but I feel like it's a sacrifice now to live and enjoy my life later. That's how I feel about it. But, yeah, I just wanted to come and chat with y'all. So, hopefully, um, she will uh, create a channel. And when she does, I will share it with y'all. And more than likely, once she does, we can sit down and talk about the way I lost, the way she lost, and what, what are the, you know, the the um, pros and cons to each way that we end up losing weight. We'll talk about it. Because you were in your 290s, too, right? Yes. She was in her 290s as well. So, all right, y'all. Let me get back to Brayden. Bye, y'all. <laughs> six pounds is what happened because I'm now um, 250 what is it 250.4 yeah I just feel like mm, I, I didn't even lose quite a pound so I'm just gonna nicely just put a little half a notch like that um, yeah so and I'm gonna put a line and write the date so I can see exactly what took place for that day um yeah because i keep doing a, a two first because i'm thinking about yeah so 5 23 yeah 19 and then 250 yeah that's locked but anyways i can read it all right y'all love you guys dedicated Hey guys, it is the morning after day seven. Um, and I'm getting ready to edit this video, so I decided to put this in there. This is literally turning into a style. You can see it right there. Okay, so yeah. Yesterday, and I still feel not as bad as yesterday, but I still feel the same way. I'm getting ready to go. Oh, I brush these choppers and lay back down. Just, I can't stand long. My client was so, so patient. It took me like oh, almost five hours to do her hair when I usually am done with her hair before four hours. But she was patient. I sat down. I took breaks. She's so cool. So freaking cool. And we just had some great conversation, which you probably would have seen some of that in the video already. But yeah, um, I'm not surprised with the way in results for day seven. I'm a little disappointed, but then again, I'm not because, like I said, I listen to my body and I do what's best. And I drunk Gatorade yesterday and had no clue. Um, well, I had a clue, like I've seen the contents of Gatorade before, but I was feeling so terrible that I was like, I didn't want to mess my fast up. I said, well, what better than let me try Gatorade? You know, they claim Gatorade helps give you electrolytes or, you know, help put you know a little bit of energy in you when you're feeling depleted and so that's why I decided to go with Gatorade uh, uh, uh. so yeah um yeah I um did that and oh my gosh woke up this morning feeling bloated today is, is actually day nine but I feel like this needs to go with day I mean yeah, today is yeah, today is day nine. I think this needs to go with day eight because I drunk the stuff on day eight. And oh my gosh, I feel bloated. I feel I can feel the difference in my stomach. I can feel it. But good thing is I was still in ketosis, which is a good thing. So just weird. The body is weird. Um but I'm definitely listening to it. I'm definitely listening to it. Um, yeah, so 
let me lay back down. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you tomorrow for day nine's results. I'm not giving up. I'm pushing through this, y'all. I'm pushing through this. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the calendar like, yeah, I'm pushing through it. I love you guys and keep pushing, guys. This detox. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. This detoxing. Um, for these feelings I'm having is from strong detox. I'm like, my body is really starting to detox, so it's going to do a lot of crazy stuff. And I guess mine is more so feeling ugh, lethargic, like really drained, really, really, really tired. Can't stand up for long. I have to. I kept sitting down to do it here. I tried to stand up a couple times because I break faster standing up. Mm -mm. Wasn't a go. My body was like, sit your butt down. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, that's basically it. I'm just having some major detox and symptoms. Um, I wasn't able to really comment too much back, and I probably won't be able to comment too much back after this, but I definitely want to get this video up, and I'm a soldier, so I'm soldiering through this, and I'm sharing my journey with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope it's inspiring to many more people. All right, y'all. Love y'all.